Hello, my name is Logan, and today we are going to solve problems that a lot of people run into when installing or playing Infinite Fusion. I suggest watching this video if you're needing help installing the game on your PC. There will be chapters, so please skip to the one that interests you. If for some reason none of these fixes work, or you have a different problem, please go to the Infinite Fusion Discord. I frequent there quite often, and you can get better help there. We are going over one of the most common problems first, and that's extremely long loading times between areas, evolving, booting up the PC, fusing, and anything else like that. Luckily, there really is only one solution to the problem, unless you have a volatile internet connection or weak computer hardware. First things first, you have to have the preloaded version of the game. This version comes with the alternate launcher. The alternate launcher behaves differently than the other one, so the initial load time is extremely long, but it should help with all the other load times. If this alone doesn't fix your issue, then you also need to go into your options menu and turn off download sprites and switch to DNA icon. Next up, we have an error that is pretty frequent. A window will pop up randomly and say that permission was denied and that the fusion icon wasn't generated. This is your antivirus stopping the game from making an image. You need to tell your antivirus that infinite fusion is safe. Generally, you do that through the antivirus settings. Next up, you cannot have one drive backing up your game files. This will cause errors. If you see this status column, then that means OneDrive has access to your folder. You need to go into OneDrive settings and tell it to not look at the game's folder. If your levels have suddenly disappeared, you turned on base stat mode. You need to go talk to the update man and turn that off. Unless of course it was intentional. If you're using the alternate launcher and your sprites are missing, just close the game and boot it back up. It should work after that. If you're not encountering any wild Pokemon, you need to go to the update man and randomize your game again. If you're encountering a question mark where the sprite should be, try turning off and turning back on download sprites. Or check your internet connection. This was meant to be a short video addressing some of the most common problems right now. Again, go to the Discord if this hasn't helped at all. Liking, commenting, and of course subscribing really does help the channel. I appreciate any support. I'll see all of you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.